Hey guys, this is King Adu. Uh, today I wanted to teach you guys about .eth extensions, uh, Ether domain names. And I wanted to talk about the potential investment opportunity, but also the more of the practical use. And so where I am right now is I'm at registrar.ens.domains. If you go to this website, this is where you can actually look up domains that are available to bid on. Now, in order to actually bid, you're going to need to have MetaMask built into your Chrome browser, and I'll go over that in a moment. But let's take a look here. Um, if I scroll down, you'll actually see live auctions. Right now, these are the list of .eth um, addresses that you can actually bid on. Now, the bidding process is kind of quirky. It's kind of weird. But what's neat about it is that it's free market. It's, it goes to the highest bidder. Um, it's not like GoDaddy and you try to go get it before someone else gets it and the price is the same. Um, in this particular case, um, you're going to place a bid. Um, so essentially, you go to one of these addresses. You'll be able to place your bid on here. Um, and then there's a reveal period. Now, that's the really quirky part. There's going to be a reveal period, and it's really clear. There's a countdown clock and everything. But you are going to have to make sure that you go and reveal your bid. Uh, you essentially are just going to click a button to reveal it to the world. Um, and at that time, that's how you're going to find out um, whether or not you're the highest bidder or if you lost. But the thing is, is that you actually commit your bid up front. So right now, this is per Pacific Western Bank. That's exciting. We got a, we actually have a bank trying to get Ethereum addresses. This stuff's real, guys. Anyhow, that's being bid on right now. Um, Western Pacific Bank wants this address. But I can go bid on it right now. And so can anyone. And that one's going to be, a, I would imagine the price is going to go pretty high on that one. Um, but So I placed the bid up front. And then I'm going to come back later during the reveal period, click a button, and actually find out if I won or lost. But here's a really weird thing. Even if you, basically if you don't reveal, you actually lose your ether. Um, it's kind of this quirky thing with how smart contracts work that you, you kind of have to go through that process. That's how, that's just how the auction process works. There's nothing weird or shady or scammy about it. They make it really clear on the website that that's just the nature of the situation. Um, you will burn, no matter what, you're gonna burn some ether. Um, and they state that really clearly. There's a 0.5% fee that's burned. And they, and really, that's just to discourage people from just bidding on everything real cheap, right? Like right now, I could go through and bid on every single one of these domains and just see what I steal from somebody just to be a jerk. And maybe I flip it back to them later. Um, and I'm sure there are people doing that, um, which is unfortunate. But that's just the way the, the world works. And this is a uh, free market right here, guys. So if you want to bid on any of these, now you can. So let's get into that. How do I actually bid? Now, um, the first thing you're going to need is you're probably going to need to have Chrome. Hopefully you have Chrome. Um, I, I just suggest it because it's going to be the easiest for you guys um, if you've never done this before. And you're going to need to go to a website called metamask.io. And you'll see this little cool fox following you around. Um, looks like Star Fox 64 and uh, he's gonna follow your mouse around. It's kind of cool little site You can learn about what MetaMask is here But essentially what it is is that it's a plugin for Chrome so that you can actually interact with smart contracts You guys have been reading about it and you maybe don't quite understand it But de decentralized applications you can interact with all of them on this platform and It's pretty cool it's pretty cool because once you once you actually download the program, you're gonna go here. You're gonna download the Chrome app, add it to Chrome. You just click this button, it'll download and install itself. Um, you'll create a password. Um, make sure it's very secure. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. And essentially, you now have an Ethereum wallet that you can access. The Ethereum wallet is actually decentralized. It's in the cloud, um, on the blockchain, just like any other wallet you have. Um, but you can actually access it right here up in your, the top right of your Chrome browser. It's now there. Um, you can actually very easily, it's very user-friendly to connect um, and send money, buy money.
But essentially, now that you download that, you'll be able to go back to the ENS registrar site and then you'll actually be able to bid. You'll actually be able to see what's going on here. Um, if you don't have one, you won't be able to do anything. You'll get this error right here. It says, your browser does not support smart contracts. Please go to Mr. Parity or the MetaMask Chrome extension, and that's the one that I'm recommending. So if you guys need validation on what I'm telling you to do, it's right there. Um, but basically, um, when you're ready to bid, um, you can actually go back to one of these. Um, you'll basically click on what you want to bid on. Um, I need to refresh my, my uh, browser here. It's why it's not showing up for you guys. But essentially, um, there will be a little uh, a little uh, bid button with how much. You just type in how much and what you want to bid. And basically, it's going gonna, it's gonna to talk to your MetaMask wallet and send that money from that address. So keep that in mind, guys, um, that it is essentially connected to this wallet your MetaMask wallet. Um, and that's basically what's going to facilitate the actual bidding and everything automatically for you. Uh, it's very, very intuitive, super simple, super easy. The other thing is, is that if you don't have any money in this wallet right now, um, it automatically co uh, connects to shapeshift.io, which is a type of a decentralized exchange where you can actually add Ethereum to your wallet. Or... By now, most of you probably have a Coinbase account. If you don't have one, it's essentially like PayPal um, or Venmo. And uh, go ahead and download it. If you go down to the, uh, the description, you'll actually see a link um, where you can go ahead and create a Coinbase account. Um, you and me will both get $10 after you've put $100 into your account. Um, so please do that for yourself and, of course, to support the channel. But go ahead, if you don't have a Coinbase account, sign up, get one. Um, but once you have one, MetaMask will have, it's beautiful. I, I did it today to test it out um, and to put some money aside so I could start bidding on these. But essentially, um, right here in the MetaMask app, you can actually go ahead and connect to Coinbase. You don't even have to go to the Coinbase website. You don't have to log in, but you're buying through Coinbase. And the moment you purchase, Coinbase actually automatically sends the money to your wallet right here in your MetaMask wallet. So that's really, really exciting. Um, really, really cool application. If you haven't used MetaMask yet, I would uh, say that it's practically a requirement um, as you move forward and start educating yourself, learning more about decentralized applications. If you actually want to interact with applications and understand how it's going to work for you in the future and really wrap your brain around all this new technology, MetaMask is a great opportunity for you to start learning um, more about that. So there you have it. Um, check out registrar.ens.domains to see which domains are being bid on. Um, again, it's actually really exciting. Just I, li I like coming here and reading. Um, you can see, obviously, people are trying to get their video gamer tags. Um, this guy wants my, my girl fund. <laughs> um, that's pretty funny. Um, CSGO farming, of course. Guys, uh, cryptocurrency is huge in esports, things like that. Um, you're going to see a lot of site, uh, a lot of those on here. But like, like we saw earlier in the video, legitimate companies are trying to uh, get these addresses because they know it's the future. And you've got to own this stuff um, and keep it simple, right? Um, and so let's talk about what the domain is. Maybe I, didn't, I should have done that sooner. But essentially, instead of having the long address to send money to, that really cryptic, weird address, um, you basically can assign a name to it. And that's what this is. So if your name's John, you can do john.eth. And if your name's John, that's probably a really, really good investment if you can try to buy it now. That's something I'd probably spend over $100 on if, if, if my name was actually John, because one, it's going to be crazy convenient for me. I mean, personally, I'm going to use it like crazy. But of course, there's a million Johns on the planet. Very, very likely in five years, some really rich John guy is going to see it convenient to have it, and he'll pay you for it. So can you flip these in the future? Yes. It, should you be buying it for convenience? I think so. I think you should be looking for something that's convenient for yourself um, 
and uh, you know just think of it like your email address but in this case we're talking about value we're talking about uh, money moving back and forth and not just ethereum don't forget guys that your wallet can work with any ethereum altcoin so uh, Gollum is a good example. It, it, w it would work for that. So if, if someone wanted to pay you in Gollum, sure, send it here. Send it to john.eth. And uh, that's simple. And that's what you want. And that's going to make it more tangible for people, too, that don't quite get all of the stuff going behind the scenes. And, you know, you're sending people weird addresses like, yeah, you know, this is where you would send the money and stuff like it's, it's not very tangible, it's not digestible, but this is. And that's why this is exciting. Um, this market opened up three days ago. And keep in mind that um, they are only releasing uh, these domains basically chunks at a time, blocks at a time, essentially. Um, so if I look here, here's blockchain.eth. Who wouldn't want to bet on that, right? I can't imagine what this will sell for. Maybe a thousand, two, three thousand dollars. Probably more one of the premium ones. But this one here is gonna actually. Uh, it's in 24 days and eight hours. That's when it will actually hit the open market to be bid on. So if you're on this site and you're looking up different names that you want to bid on, you, there's a little button you can click watch. And it basically just tracks it in your cookies on your browser and you'll get this big list of things that you're interested in bidding on. So um, maybe we can try one here. Let's go look and see if Gollum is, Gollum's too short. That's one of the things that's interesting is that it's gotta be seven characters long. So let's do uh, buy Gollum. And buy Gollum.eth is not available yet. It's going to be in 39 days and 16 hours. That essentially means somebody has already requested this. Um, but if I click watch right here, it'll add it to my list, and then I can just come back and check in on it. Um, but your countdown is gonna live here for all of them. So, if you're interested in this, if you're thinking about some alternative ways to get your money into this market long term, buy one of these addresses, invest in one of these addresses, get get one, get your hands on one, and buy it at what you believe a good value is. Uh, um, keep in mind that when you bid, if you're the highest bidder, if you bid 100 Ether, that's ridiculous, okay, one Ether, you bid one Ether, but the second bid is half an Ether, you will only pay half an Ether. You match the, the second bid. Keep that in mind. So if, you, if you're really adamant about holding one of these, ask yourself, what's the most you would pay? Because chances are you'll probably win it and pay significantly less. Uh, the minimum is 0 0.01 Ether. So you could pay as little as that. However, like I said, everyone gets to see it. Everyone's going to go to the main website and they're going to see um, that it's available to be bid on. And there's a last chance to bid right here. We've got mysterious <laughs> um, last chance to bid on that. Um, what else do we got here? Stylize, last chance to bid on that. So people are going to see whatever it is you're bidding on. And somebody might want to steal it and squat it from you. So if you think you're a genius and you come up with a cool um, extension, oh, that's... It's irrelevant. Everyone's going to see what you came up with and bid on it. So with that in mind, bid accordingly and ask yourself if it's worth worth owning as well. So anyhow, guys, I'm King Adu and uh, may the force be with you. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, we'll talk to you soon.